Hey y'all, Belle here from Southern Bear, and today I am in the Christmas mood. If you cannot tell, I got my Christmas, um, what is this, a hoodie? Christmas shawl. It's a shawl, but it has a hood on it, so I don't know. You, you tell me what it is. But I am in the Christmas mood. I am wanting to talk to y'all all about Christmas and find out more about y'all about Christmas, guys. Now, I would love to hear about your traditions. I'd love to hear about the food you're going to make, the candy, the surprises. I love it all. I love the beautiful lights. I love the, the presents. I love the decorations. It makes me happy. And I would love to know if it makes you happy, too. Now, some of the things I like to do during Christmas is make things. Um, this is broken, so I had one left over. My um, daughter had a um, Christmas party at her school, and I made all her classmates these cute little sleighs. I got a short on it here on YouTube, so go check out my little short video just showing you. It's pretty easy peasy. It's broke though. This one got broke, so I <laughs> didn't get into the, I had to make another one. Um, but it's just buy a Kit Kat, buy these little bitty chocolate things here, put them in a pyramid, three on the bottom, two in the middle, and one on top, and there was a snowman here. You can put a snowman or a little, you know, Santa candy cane, not candy cane, Santa candy. And then on the bottom, see my broken candy cane but this bottoms is candy canes to make it a sleigh and that's one of the cute things that I like to do I typically kind of do it every year but not I haven't done it to this extent where I made it for her whole class so that was something new you know so I'm doing that of course I'm gonna be building a gingerbread house here soon so I would love to hear each and every one of you's traditions or just what you're planning on doing uh it may not necessarily be a tradition or you may decide to make it a tradition or hey you may, may did it one time and then you're like no nah, not next year i made some delicious oreo truffle stuff where you get oreos crush it up until like a fine like powder like literally pick it up and it's like dirt looking stuff and then you mix cream cheese and of course the room temperature cream cheese mix it up mix it up mix it up put it in the freezer melt some chocolate and then dip get the things out of the freezer and dip them in chocolate and put them in the freezer again so good so good now i don't know if i'm gonna do them next year but i am gonna make another batch to give to some of my friends because it was kind of like a um a practice batch you know when you're not quite sure if you remember because i did this years ago not you're quite sure if you remember how to make it or not that's what that was but it was actually good so i will be making some for my friends but i don't think i'll be doing it next year is there anything like that is there any food you like to make for the holiday season i just i love to hear about everybody's you know what they what they like to do their traditions and if they have traditions if they make their own traditions each year <laughs> you know uh or or what we used to put candy canes on a christmas tree like not a lot a lot of candy canes but for the whole month of december and we would uh eat a candy cane uh a day until it started getting you know down to the wire and then if there was a lot then more than one candy cane a day but i don't do that anymore because that's a lot of sugar <laughs> and sh you know we already get enough sugar for Christmas with all the treats all the candy because Lord Almighty there's a lot of candy my sweet pea my little Belle had a uh, Christmas party of course she came of course I sent cookies too so that's partially my fault but she came home with some candy different kind of things and of course I fill up stockings with uh, you know candy and stuff so it's, it's kind of kind of my fault too you know and um, I would I want to start going away from just candy and find more fun things like little things that she likes that's like toys or crafts or something that she likes to do but not so much candy because there's just so much but if you enjoy the candy let me know down below another thing i like to do and like i said let me know down below all the stuff you like to do for christmas or the holidays um i love to do rack does anybody know what that is i love to do rack which is random acts of Christmas kindness. R A C K. Random acts of Christmas kindness. 
And I print off a lot of these little things. And I, I sometimes print off things like this that can go around candy canes, which I have uh, some already done. And I just go put them on their cars or put them somewhere. Or you can put a quarter in a like a little candy thing for a kid or put a, a type of dollar onto a vending machine and then leave a little note about rack Christmas kindness, you know, and um, things like that just to brighten someone's holiday. And so we are going to be getting into Christmas spirit by doing these. We have the candy canes ready and uh, this weekend we're going to, because a lot of people are going to be doing a lot of stuff, going out. Um, it's the weekend before Christmas, so by the time you see this, I'll have already done put candy canes on people's cars and uh, try to do as much as I can to try to maybe brighten someone's, you know, holiday because there's a lot of people, I don't know, you know, that are sad during the holiday. They miss someone, they're one of their loved ones are gone. And sometimes I feel like if we could just do the littlest thing to brighten someone's day, you know, it's worth it. Because they may be going through a bad day. They may be thinking, I miss my my mom, I miss my grandpa, I miss my brother or sister, or whatever may have happened to them, you know? And I, I sometimes, just that little random act of kindness, I feel like, can really go a long ways to help people through. Because sometimes the holidays are hard. So... This is something that I like to do. I don't always do it because sometimes it's a lot of work. Like I printed off little ones of these, the exact same as these, but they're much little. And I taped it, like roll it and then tape it. That's why it has this like extra piece here. So you can roll it on the candy cane and then tape it. So I, it took a while. A lot of things like that takes a while, but I did it. And now I just gotta finish passing out some stuff let me know if you have any cool things like that if you go help out with anyone i mean you don't have to i just want to know you know it, it's really cool to hear about people especially since i haven't gotten to stream and talk to y'all like one-on-one -on -one a whole lot you know so i don't really know what goes on in y'all's life anymore so you know i i don't i don't get to see so and Yes, I will do a chug at the end of this video. I didn't say it at the beginning, but that's okay. There is a chug, so, because y'all want to see it. it it's, it's, it's a Christmas Dr. Pepper chug. I have to do it, you know? Sure. Um, I love to hear from y'all, though. Let me know, like I said, down below. Love to hear everything from y'all. Love to... Um, know about your life love to know you know see a little it's like a little window inside the, the comment sections are like a little window into y'all's life and i like it i want to let y'all know if you want to join the donut gang you're more than welcome to there's a beautiful join button there's cool badges cool emotes no matter if you're commenting on a video or if i'm going live uh which i have done here recently and i want to try to continue to do and i'm oops, sorry and i may do in the future you know you know within the next couple of months hopefully we'll see um try to at least you know stream where i'm talking to y'all if not anything and then maybe stream some video game video wago so that's gonna be super fun um but those those cool emotes and cool badges you can do just put them in a regular comments section to a to a, a video so i and i love to i used to do this a lot when a lot of people would comment i would get like the best comment or one that i was like oh i you know take a little screenshot and put it on my next video trying to kind of give a shout out and i want to try to do that again and um try to get the flow of things and put some more things out there so hopefully we got some cool things coming to my channel or at least just you know getting back in the flow of putting out some kind of videos for y'all i don't know if you could tell but i got like my camera is like oh better than my other camera that i had so and of course i've already had this mic this is what i use all the time um but I can actually maybe make some ASMR videos and tap. And I actually have some Pop Rocks. I was thinking about doing a Christmas Pop Rock thing for y'all. But I don't know. I don't know. But, um, you know, to do some, you know, good videos for you. Even if it's just 
here and post in it. So let me know what your thoughts and opinions down below. And if you would like me to do a certain kind of video, I know a lot of people write me like, some of y'all are like, why does she do these Dr. Pepper burp videos or, or whatnot? One, I'm part of the Pepper Pack. I'm going to be, you know, displaying my love for Dr. Pepper and showing that I drink Dr. Pepper and just putting that out. Because like, I'm part of the Pepper Pack. Sometimes they send me stuff. Sometimes, you know, they I'm a part of things that other people are not a part of. And that's really cool, you know. And um, the whole burping thing is people highly ask for it. <laughs> And, and I don't know if you see in the comments of some of those videos, they'll put a timestamp of whenever they will say, oh good, crush the can or do this or that or go, you know, when you drink. So people actually highly, and I mean highly, ask for it. They've written me on Instagram, Twitter, and stuff like that. So if you're wondering about that, oh look, my hands disappeared. If you're wondering about that, that's that's kind of why and some people enjoy it. <laughs> Or some people are just like, dang, I'm surprised that she can burp like that. You know, um, it started off as just me chugging because I got the idea from Greg Over who was chugging water, uh, you know, for his videos. So that way he was just constant, which is a good thing to do. I, I want to try to put out some constant videos, even if they're not like large, crazy videos. So I got the idea from him when he was doing that. And then, of course, with soda just comes belches because it's a lot of bubblies and sad you know and so then people started requesting it and, I, and people have even asked me hey can I have a custom video of it and I'm like what, what? I, I posted on YouTube you, you, you what I don't know <laughs> you know and so uh, if you haven't seen some of my newest Dr. Pepper videos it's, I actually got a package and I just did a Dr. Pepper burp at the end of it. <laughs> Dr. Pepper burp. But everybody loves I don't know why. I don't know why. But Dr. Pepper chug at the end of it. Sometimes I don't burp. Sometimes I try not to burp. And then people are sad. But um, I, I open. I unbox this fanville thing. So go check it out. Um, you know, check out the link. It should be down below for you. Um, but that's not very Christmassy though. I'm trying to be Christmassy. See, look. I'm trying. I'm all Christmassy. I'm doing what I gotta do. And, uh, let's get on with the, the, the chug. Now, I can't promise any burping. It's not my goal. I'm gonna try to chug, because I haven't chugged. Oh, uh, well, I don't know if it's cold, if it might not. So, let's get on with it. The one, the only, Dr. Pepper. I love the noise. I don't, I'm gonna tap on it, of course. I love the noise it makes once you open it. I don't know if y'all can hear that. It kind of stopped really. But let's go ahead and try to chug this. Like I said, I, obviously my last video I wasn't able to chug it. And I still haven't practiced. So This may be a drink. I don't know. Oh, I just realized my nose. It stopped up, so this is not good. Okay. <sighs> Oof. Every time... I do a chug and it, like this is warm it feels really warm and bubbly and it's really deep <sighs> oh excuse me Sorry, I am no longer the girl I used to be. I used to just chug it like it was nothing. Now, I'm puny. I can't do it. I need more practice. It's been a whole moment since I've chugged things. And now, I still haven't made a video that I'm supposed to make. Or I still haven't edited it. So, but it's still the last video y'all saw of me chugging. 
um, or quote unquote chugging. It was more sipping because that sob was cold. I cannot chug cold <laughs> sodas. So, excuse me. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. That's I. I don't feel any more gas. It was really tasty though. It was really tasty. Let me know down below if you were a Dr Pepper fan like me. I love Dr. Pepper. Follow me on my Instagram, Southern Bell Gaming. Follow me on my Twitter, gaming underscore bell. Um, you know, I'm hoping one day eventually we have Twitch. You know, in a couple months, you better look out for me, guys. Look out for me. I'm going to be on there. <laughs> my plan is to do a little more more uh, live streaming, if it is from my phone. Put out some more videos so I'm active, you know. And that way I can also keep in touch with all y'all because I love to hear from y'all. So, thank you. I hope y'all have a wonderful Christmas. It's next. It's coming up. So I don't know how many or if any videos, unless it's like short videos that I'm going to put out for you. So if I don't see you, if I don't see you, you, before Christmas, or I don't talk to you in comments or go to someone else's stream before Christmas, I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I hope you are just filled with love and whoever you want to be surrounded by this Christmas. I'll see each and every one of you in the next video. Bye, y'all. I want for Christmas. Yes. Yes.